don't forget. Some things must be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... I am Daniel. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Owen, and I'm going to be LPing uh, Amnesia the Dark Descent. It's going to be a mostly blind LP in that I've played, I think, to the beginning of the Inner Sanctum, but past that, I don't know anything, really. Uh, I'll tell you when I, like, do know things. There's, there's a rock slide. Uh, Amnesia's a very spooky game for very spooky people, although I'm sure you know that, because it's been out for a while now. Uh, I'll probably just explain some of the game mechanics. You can pick up tinder boxes, which you can use to light candles and stuff. You can pick up items. You can scroll on the mouse to sort of mess with them, but it doesn't really do anything. And you can throw stuff, which is always fun. Daniel also tends to flip out a lot near the beginning, such as right now. I don't really know what he's doing. He's limboing. But, uh, yeah. So, try and open this. Oh! I don't really know what that is, but apparently you can't go through it. <laughs> oh! Spooky door. Open it up. I'm trying to be, like, I'll flip it now, like, oh, I'm not scared, because I'm not, because I know what's happening, but, like, pretty sure later on I'm probably just going to shit my pants. But that's okay. That's half the fun, or something, I guess. Fun for you guys. Uh, I'll probably enjoy it, too. That came out wrong. Anyway, so, uh, basically, in the beginning, uh, you just get tinder boxes and walk extremely slow. Uh, you, you can run later, and that's nice, but until then, you gotta walk and get scared by things that aren't really that scary. Follow this weird pink trail. Footsteps? Oh. Okay. Uh, follow this pink trail of goo. I don't really know what it is. Uh, and... Oh, Daniel's breathing pretty heavy. So, I don't know. Oh, he's crawling sideways. Very difficult to do, but Daniel's very skilled. I don't really know what he's getting afraid of there, like, there's not really anything happening. I guess there's that noise. Well, that's ominous. Uh, let me go in here. I feel like he almost walks slower at this part, just because it's like, oh, I just got scared. But it's very annoying, because I just kind of want to get out of here and get to the part where I can run. <laughs> But yeah, uh, so, oh boy, I wonder what's supposed to Ooh! Oh my! So, yeah, whatever. Uh, I guess I should explain this real quick. Uh, this is my health. All's good. It's fine. And then my sanity, a slight headache, because of that spooky thing that just happened. Spooky things make Daniel very afraid. He has a huge wuss. Actually, wait. I think I forgot to get whatever's in here. Hopefully there is something in here. Oh. I don't need that shirt, so I'm gonna leave. And pretty soon, I believe we're gonna be going to the old archives. Yep, right here. Okay, so this is the old archives. It's even more drafty than that other area. Life just keeps happening. I don't know what the deal is. It's also very leaky. A lot of water coming in. Like a lot. I think, but like, we're gonna have a mold problem if they don't already. Nice. Oh, bugs. It's pretty gross. I think Dan. I think I'm pretty insane right now. Hold on. Yeah, that's like the second worst sanity rating I think. But that's okay. I think Daniel can handle himself. Uh. So yeah, continue on this way. Uh, I believe there's a tinderbox over here. 
on these floaty. Oh, no, I guess not. I know there's one in one of the rock slide areas, but I can never remember which. Oh, I remember which one it is now. Okay. Oh. It's extremely windy. But what's this? Oh, a lantern. Oh, that's nice. Because Daniel is afraid of the dark. And also, he's a little insane right now. That works out. Uh, but, of course, oil's very limited, and I don't want to waste it, so uh, I'm going to do my best to not use it. Uh, the entire castle seems to be vibrating. You know, if I was in Daniel's situation, I don't think I would be exploring this. I mean, like, although he's made it clear that, like, all these doors give weird shuddering effects when he comes near them, Oh, I just jump out a window. So there's some oil, and here's a paper. 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits, and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Okay, so apparently we have to kill this Alexander Brennenberg guy. I mean, honestly, I hope Daniel has a good reason. I'm no, I'm no big fan of murder. I don't really see. Oh. Okay. Cool. Entrance hall. Okay. So this is the. Oh, now we can run. Feels good. Oh, that's nice. Oh, there's some blood things. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. Okay, so I guess at one point we were friends with Alexander Brandenburg, and there's some weird red stuff, might be blood, might be something else, and there's some tough pliant material over there, cannot be torn by hands, so that's, that's a thing. Some more of those bugs. Here's another big door, maybe we can leave this way. Oh, oh, that's much grosser than before, and then... That's, a, that's just an unsettling noise. I don't like that noise at all. Oh. Solid. Okay, so... I guess the next place to go would be the next open doorway. So I'll go down here. Bang a left. Wine cellar. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess that is what locked means. At least in this period. Alright, the laboratory. Uh, pretty shitty laboratory. Oh, what's. Uh, oh my. Alright, I guess I'll go this way. Any, I don't see any tinder boxes or oil, so I'll just run down here. Alright. 
Oh. oh my. Somebody's having a splash fight. If only it could be me, it'd be a blast. Alright, so basically all that note said was, the stuff to do alchemy is in the wine cellar, which is locked, so that's inconvenient. There should be more Cooperites. Let me see, let me see. And one part Aqua Force. Okay, so as I was saying, that's inconvenient, but uh, it's okay. Uh, so I think what the game's trying to tell us is do alchemy. The chemistry pot would. Oh, am I out of oil? That's not good. Okay, so that was basically saying you need a bunch of materials to do things. So I'm gonna. Also, I just remember something. I got some oil. So. Although I'm pretty sure. I want to see just how insane I am. Oh. I guess it's just this room in general. Freaks Daniel out or something. I don't know what's in here. What's this? Okay. Well, I don't know what that was, but it's a message to somebody. Put this away. Now, get out of here, I guess. So I guess my current objective, other than kill Alexander Brennenberg, who is probably just an asshole. I don't, I don't like him. From what I've heard, he's a he's a bad dude. 